Hello everyone, Justin here. And in light of many people getting injected with a COVID vaccine, I thought I'd show you how to draw a syringe. So I start with a center line for the syringe, the barrel, and go ahead and draw the ellipses which form the ends of the barrel of the syringe. And just go ahead and connect them. I'm using a very slight one point perspective. So there'll be a little bit of a taper um, from the between the two ovals and I'll go ahead and just rough in the parts of the syringe so first we have the barrel and then the barrel itself also has a flange which helps with the, obviously with injecting whatever you're injecting so I just go ahead and make the ends of the flange follow the same line up for perspective and I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing the plunger part which goes inside the syringe or inside the barrel and again it'll also follow the the slight perspective line again the end of the plunger has an oval or ellipse and I again just went ahead and drew the long axis of the at the oval just so I know that it's perpendicular to the long axis of the syringe and the end does the end of the flange has these ridges so I went ahead and marked that so the plunger itself has this uh, cross shape cross sectional shape uh, plunger part which connects the flange to the barrel and I'll just go ahead and mark that maybe add a little bit of shadow to show that it's going inside um, the barrel and I've already started kind of showing the sh the roundness of the barrel with some lines, um, but we'll do more on we'll do some more with that. So anyway, inside the the barrel of the syringe, then is a rubber piece, which I went ahead and drew with a little bit of a with another oval, and I'll go ahead and darken this because usually it's a black rubber, and for a lot of these ovals, you know, we're, we're primarily going to be looking at the right side of the oval that we drew. And we would normally go ahead and erase the left part of the oval if this was a pencil drawing. I'll just go ahead and extend the barrel here. And this is where the needle would actually uh, screw on. And I kind of indicated a little bit with uh, a couple extra lines there. And I'll start working on like this additional extension and all of this is basically clear plastic and start putting in the needle so the needle itself you know will be just a really just a one line deal but the the proximal end or the near end of it is a little bit thicker and this is the part that screws into the barrel of the syringe often there these are color coded uh, depending on the size of the syringe. So I'm imagining ovals all along this barrel to show me how I need to curve the lines which are the measurement lines for the syringe. And I'll just assume that this is a 3cc syringe. So there'll be three long lines. The one line of course is getting hidden by the rubber that's inside. And I'll go ahead and mark some numbers. So like I said, this is a 3cc syringe and there will also be other marks that separate each of these uh, markings by 10 so you can uh, measure out these by per millimeter basically uh, milliliter basically so each of each of these lines are a little bit shorter and i'll go ahead and indicate the manufacturer um, marking as well so you can see that all of these measuring lines follow the cur same curve of the ellipse so that you make it look realistic I'm just adding a little bit more shading here to show uh, the form and show some uh, three-dimensionality to the syringe so this is just a kind of a rough sketch 
but I'll go ahead and uh, straighten things out a little bit here and let's see let's go ahead and draw a second syringe actually um, let's draw it at a different angle so let's go ahead and as usual draw the center center line so we keep everything kind of straight there's our perpendicular long axis of our oval which is the end of the barrel and draw in our oval as before it's going to be perpendicular to our long axis of the syringe all right so let's hook up the two ovals and here you can see that there's more of an obvious taper um, with this one point perspective and again we'll draw in the barrel flange and it just it's just a slight curve just on either side of the oval and draw go ahead and draw the ends and I can just go ahead and uh, maybe let's see I'll just go ahead and shadow this part right here and start working on the inside plunger so continuing on the center line I will go ahead and start drawing in the plunger part again still following the rules of perspective where it gets the parallel lines basically come get closer together uh, further into the distance again um, this is really a good practice as far as drawing um, ellipses and cylinders and just always keep in mind that the long axis of the oval will be perpendicular to the long axis of the barrel or the cylinder that you're drawing so here I'm drawing the ridges that are on the the plunger flange the very end uh, with just a couple couple lines and now I'm going ahead and drawing in the the plunger uh, pattern with uh, some details here add some parallel line shading to show that uh, there's a uh, to give it more form and maybe add some shadow on this side as well although not as dark as the previous one and the variation in the shading definitely sh helps to show the form and the shape of whatever it is that you're drawing okay those couple lines that I just drew there on the barrel flange it's kind of just to make it look like it's a little bit shiny this is a uh, generally clear plastic so I'll continue the barrel uh, right there and go ahead and start maybe shading in this barrel just so we can uh, see that it's a cylinder and I think I'll go ahead and shadow this a little bit different I'll use parallel lines sort of following the the curve of the ovals but I will make this darker though with uh, long parallel lines so basically what you got here is a uh, cross hatching and as I go closer to the center I separate the lo long lines a little bit just to show that it's a little, getting a little bit lighter all right so let's mark the markings I mean as far as the measurement markings so there's one two and I'm just imagining the shape of the oval so I know how to draw these lines so of course they're going to be curved I'll draw the halfway point of these lines as well and then in between each of these uh, lines longer lines then will be four shorter lines to indicate uh, the smallest uh, measuring unit so here it is one two three four and here one two three four and I just continue that I'm trying to keep them about the same length and I'll go ahead and draw the manufacturer label as well still following the same curves if you looked at this straight on of course this would be a rectangle 
I'm not very concerned with making things super accurate. I'd say this is a, just a sketch and just want to express how the object is shaped with some shadows. So here it is, the closer end of the needle. Like I said, this is usually color coded. Once I color this, maybe I'll color it uh, red or something. So just one line basically for the needle because the needle is pretty thin. And we should pretty much be done. So thanks for watching and please like, share and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll know when I posted more videos. I'll just straighten this out a little bit more and uh, color it up. Thanks and have a great day. Thank you.